morning. Welcome back to my channel, Our Wandering Footprints. Um, today, I'm going to be making dog treats to take with us on our camping trip for Maya and Finn because, you know, they need a treat too. And um, I'm going to be making uh, peanut butter, oatmeal, banana dog treats. And I'm not going to roll them out and cut them out. I'm just going to make little patties out of them because it's a lot easier. I got a lot to do yet. And um, I thought you might want to come along and see how I make them. Um, plus, I wanted to just say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel up to this point. I'm a little over 300, I think, last time I looked. And I appreciate every everyone who has watched my videos and comments on my videos. And it's, it just really gives me the confidence to keep going, you know, doing recipes. And uh, I'm going to start doing more travel videos once we, you know, we're just kind of getting our feet wet with traveling. So, um, more of that's going to be coming and uh, I hope y'all just, you know, keep watching and like I said, keep commenting and I really, really appreciate it. And once, I think I'm gonna strive for like 500 and then I'll do a giveaway um, of something at that point. So I appreciate y'all and I hope you watch today's video. Okay, let's get started on making our oatmeal peanut butter banana dog treats. So the first thing that I did was I took a, I had one large banana left and I just took a fork and mashed it up. Uh, it comes out to about uh, a little over a third cup probably. But I didn't want to, want to measure it so just one large banana mashed up with a fork and then one whole egg. I'm going to use my whisk just to mix this part up first to get the egg and then we'll add our other, other two ingredients or other three ingredients I should say. This is a nice, healthy dog treat. It's a lot better than buying dog treats, you know, packaged stuff at the store. At least I know what's going in this, and because I care about what my dogs eat. So, all right, that's pretty well mixed up. Just that, and now we're going to add about a third cup of peanut butter. I'm using smooth peanut butter. I'm just kind of eyeballing it a little bit. That looks good. Okay. I'm just going to use my spatula to mix this part up. Because you want it to be nice and mixed up. And you can use chunky peanut butter. Um, I'm just using Jif, which is what I have on hand. There's, you know, it's not going to be that much in here to, you know, as far as sugar content and all that for the dog so but you can buy organic peanut butter or whatever you want to do but I'm all about using what I have so and it's not like they're eating a whole bunch of them it's just gonna be for the trip for a snack here and there because I, I try not to feed them right before we leave because I'm afraid they'll get sick traveling okay there's the peanut butter now we're adding one cup of old-fashioned oat flour that's that I grinded up myself. We're going to incorporate that. So one cup of that. And you could use any kind of flour you want. I just happen to like the oat flour. And then we're going to put in a half a cup of the oats. Okay. And it doesn't call for this, but I'm going to put in some cinnamon because they like the cinnamon is good for dogs okay about a, about a quarter teaspoon half teaspoon something like that and we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna see I may have to add a little more flour to it because I want to be able to make patties out of it or you can roll it out if you want to cut like bone dog bone shapes but oh yeah I'm gonna have to add some more flour just a bit, and we'll see how it, how it goes. Let's add, I'm going to add a half a cup of oat flour. And oat flour is um, really good for dogs to digest, a lot easier than like whole wheat or purpose flour it's 
still kind of wet, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to add another half a cup of flour. So this is going to be two cups of flour total. And this should do the trick. If not, then that's all I'm going to put in there. You could just take it by the spoonfuls and do it that way. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, let me get my cookie sheets ready and I will bring you back. Okay, my oven has been preheated to 325. And so we're going to start baking these. We're going to see how they turn out. So, you know, I ended up adding two whole cups of flour to it. So, but now it's easy to put in your hand and pat it and make a little, I'm just going to make, kind of flatten them out a little bit. About that size. I don't know, about an inch and a half. And put them on parchment length cookie sheet. They're going to love these. See how many this batch makes. So I may have to do two batches. Okay. Smells wonderful. You can smell the banana. It smells really good. Okay. It's a little sticky, but not too bad. I'm sure that, and that hopefully these bake up, this is a new recipe, so hopefully they bake up soft enough that I can give some to Drake too, because Drake, um, my son comes and watches him while we're gone, because he's just an older dog, and, and for one thing, him and Finn do not get along, but it would be too hard on him going up and down the stairs of the camper. Okay. Another one. Okay, let me finish filling up this uh, cookie sheet and I will bring you back when I'm ready to put them in the oven. Okay, I got 12 on the cookie sheet and I'll probably have about enough left of for about three more so let me get these in the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes I'll keep an eye on them and to make sure that they're not going to burn and I will bring you back with the finished product okay the peanut butter oatmeal banana dog treats are all finished I got 15 out of that first batch um, of the recipe so um, I'm probably going to make another batch uh, just to make sure I have enough for Drake to leave here and to take with us but uh, I, I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And hit that little bell so you don't miss any more videos coming up. Um, and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.